I used to think reunions a bit embarrassing, not very rock and roll. But if the Pistols could do it, the arch subversives themselves, well, this was a turning point. And sure enough, a year later came the revival of a band I first met in the 1970s. That band were Blondie, and I was their PR man. Back in 1976, they were a breath of fresh air, new and exciting. And for five years they reigned before imploding in a haze of drugs, debts and debilitating illness. Then, 16 years later, they surprised and delighted music fans all over the world by getting back together. I'd have a lot of friends who would always say, you know what, it's going to happen, you guys are going to get back yeah. together. And well, I'm what, like... What, what drove that? Was it fans? And love and money, I'd say. Chris asked if I, you know, wanted to do I said no. Okay. No, computer says no. <laughs> so he had to he had to convince me. Presumably you were feeling the love from the fans, weren't you? You were yeah. getting yeah, letters, yeah, there was always you know. there was always a hardcore band yeah. base. I kept hearing more referencing of the band from other musicians and just the cultural references. But Blondie didn't just want to play the old hits. They wanted to go back into the recording studio. It was originally kind of pitched to us that we would just uh, reissue a greatest hits with one or two new songs. And I, I remember I piped up instantly and said that's not what I was interested in doing at all. It wasn't mm -hmm. to reform and just kind of go on the... Uh, you know, whatever, Chicken the retro the circuit, circuit, you know, be a heritage band or yeah. all those words that really mean like an oldies band, right? So, um, you know, we, so we took our time and we, we made new music. That was my criteria for it. I had no interest in just being, a, doing an oldies act. And um, oh. it, I even find it frustrating to have to do, you know, hanging on the telephone and I mean, I would just rather move on. Their comeback single, Maria, Blondie's first new music in over 16 years, was a worldwide hit. It was as if time had stood still. You know, it's an interesting song because it's... I'm not sure what a classic Blondie song is, but that certainly was one. When we put the band back together for the first time and everybody started playing, I just was... I sort of teared up because, oh, there really is that sound, you know, that really does exist. We yeah. do have an identity. And, um, you know, I, I think that that's, uh, that's probably the, you know, the real key to, you know, having a successful band is to have a unique uniqueness to it and a, a, a sound, you know, that is entirely its own. The band have now been back together for over 20 years, twice as long as the first time round. Incredible to see them still doing it 40 years later. I knew they were going to be big when I saw them at Dingle. I never knew it would last that long. Thank you, thank you very much. Afternoon, Clem. Love the white gear. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just happy that we're doing this now. Yeah. I mean, it's very rewarding, and we've uh, ma all made our lives better. Nice one, nice show, Debbie. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we got back together, and I feel very happy about the present. And I would like to do some something maybe a little further out. You know, I think it's time for us to take a few risks, as it were. And it was gratifying to see somebody in the front row holding their ears. So that meant... <laughs> You're still punk. Yeah, that was yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> the industry is a lot more streamlined now. The technical aspects are a lot smoother. It's a good balance for our uh, advancing age. I think if I was 60 years old in 1970, it would be really rough. But, you know, we're in a different era of professionalism and the guys in the band are a lot more, you know, Discipline, above maybe. board, disciplined. Yes, yes, is probably the word <laughs> I'm looking for. And not fucked up, so, that. Making new music is the ultimate test of any band reunion. 
And if the new tunes can be blended seamlessly with the old classics, as Blondie have done, then that's the holy grail. <laughs> 